quite at peace, Kelsey. What's the secret? There's no secret, Professor. Just a full pizza resting in my tummy. One full pizza? Was there any occasion? A friend's birthday party. That's all. Hey, by the way, when is your birthday, Professor? Planning another feast, Kelsey dear? Tell me now. I will tell you what your star symbol is. Very well. My birth date is 15th of November. Wow! That means Scorpio is your star symbol. Mine too. No wonder we get along very well. Talking about symbols, do you know that there are symbols that represent numbers as well? Symbol for numbers? Yes. Now before we get going any further, let's not forget to introduce ourselves to our little friend watching us there. Hi everyone. I am Professor Total Singh and this is my charming assistant Kelsey. So what are the symbols for numbers, Professor? Well, why don't we find that out with Math Magic Kelsey dear? Gear up kids. Math Magic is here. A gardener is nailing two pieces of bamboo together in a V shape so as to make a fence around the garden. The question is how many such bamboo pieces will be required to fence the entire length of the garden? Total number of bamboos required will depend on the total number of V's required which in turn depends on the length of fence. There are two bamboos in each V. But the number of V's is not fixed as it varies from fence to fence. So the number of V's is variable depending on the length of the fence. How does one represent such varying quantities? Let's find out the answer to this question in this module on variables and their uses where we get introduced to the concept of variables and identify the uses of variables in geometry and arithmetic. Let's see how to express a quantity whose value is changing and not fixed. For example, when we meet somebody unknown, we address them as Mr. or Mrs. But then we get to know them better. We refer to them by their names like Mr. Chopra, Mr. Sharma or Mr. Venkatesh. So, when we don't know their names, we use the word Mr. as variable. Likewise, when we don't know the exact number, we use an alphabet such as X or Y as a placeholder for an unknown number. This unknown number is called a variable. Variable means something that can vary or change. Now, let's see how to solve our gardener's problem of finding the number of bamboo sticks required to fence the garden. Let's use these colorful sticks. A V can be made using two sticks. For making two Vs, four sticks are required which is 2 times 2 and for 3 V's it's 6 sticks and so on. Notice that the total number of sticks required to make any number of V's is equal to that number multiplied by 2. So for X or variable number of V's 2 into X number of sticks will be required. Thus the gardener's requirement can be expressed as 2x where x being a variable and take any value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 depending on the length of the fence. That solves our gardener's problem. I get it! The symbols for unknown numbers are called variables. Smart cookie you are, Kelsey. Thank you, Professor. I'm just too good. Now, now, 
overconfidence can be disastrous, you know. Not for me, Professor. I'm confident because my mind is always at work. Well, that explains your constant hunger. Anyway, moving on. Let's continue our learning with math and magic. Let's look at another problem to understand the use of variables more clearly. Look at this box. It has 20 apples in all. But suppose there are many boxes, then how will we find the total number of apples in them? We can find it by making use of variables. Let's see how. The number of boxes is unknown. So we represent it by a variable. So let's say there are n numbers of boxes. How many number of apples will be there in them? It will be 20n. That's wonderful! Concept of variables understood and applied well. Now kids, here's a tip for you all. It's helpful if we choose variable to be a letter which is the first letter of the unknown number. Like variable D for distance, variable N for number of people, etc. Wow! That's cool! Thank you for this tip, Professor. Okay, moving on. Kids, variables are used in many branches of mathematics. Hmm. Is the Hmm, an indication that you are interested in knowing some of those branches, Kelsey dear? Absolutely, Professor. Very well then. Mathemagic will take us through. Now, let's look at variables in branches of math like geometry or arithmetic. In geometry, we know that the perimeter of a square is four times the length of its side. Here, the number of sides is fixed for all squares, that is, constant 4. But the measurement of the side could vary. So, we use the length variable capital L and calculate the perimeter as 4 into L or 4L. Variables are also used to express arithmetic rules like commutative properties of addition and multiplication. On adding or multiplying any two numbers, the order doesn't make any difference. Like 6 plus 7 is same as 7 plus 6. Similarly, 4 into 5 is same as 5 into 4. This commutative property of numbers can be expressed in variables like a plus b is equal to b plus a for addition and a into B is equal to B into A for multiplication. Here, A and B are variables which are free to take any values. So, I'm hoping we are all well versed with variables by now. Right kids? Absolutely, Professor. That's good. But kids, if you thought only alphabets can be used to represent numbers, then I must say, you should think again. What else can be used to represent numbers, Professor? Seems like your mind is curious for the answer. And I will not keep it a secret for long. Do you know? Numbers can also be represented using our very own hands. Don't look so confused. I will explain. This technique is referred to as finger spelling. It is a sign language that uses hand signs as a tool to explain the concept of numbers and letters to the dumb and deaf. It is a bridge between the sign language and the spoken language that surrounds it. The simplest visual form of finger spelling involves tracing the shape of letters or numbers in the air or tactually Tracing letters on the hand for the impaired to understand. It can be one-handed or even two-handed. Used in different sign languages, finger spelling is designed for different purposes. 
it can be used to represent words from a spoken language which have no sign equivalent or for emphasis, clarification or when teaching or learning a sign language. Sign language would be tough, right professor? Mm, it depends on how dedicated you are to learn and use it. Right kids? Someday I shall try this too. Well, that's someday. But right now, I would like you to focus on our present learning of the day. Care for a recap? Absolutely, Professor. In this episode, we have learned that variable means free to vary. It is used as the placeholder for a number. A variable takes on different values. Its value is not fixed. Variables are generally denoted by alphabet N, L, M, P, X, Y, Z, etc. Variables allow to express many common rules in both geometry and arithmetic in a general way. Kids, it's time for us at Math for Juniors to go. We will see you soon in another interesting episode. Till we meet again, you all take care and be good. <laughs>